Uh, well, my earliest food memory goes back to my childhood, uh, where the entire culinary journey started uh, from my, you know, mother's kitchen. Um, fond memories of uh, sitting next to her, uh, enjoying food, homemade, home cooked food. Uh, the simplicity of uh, dal and some stir fried vegetables, pure ghee which is made in house. So, I mean, every time I have my me time, and I would like to go back to those dishes and enjoy them again. It was more of a, a hotelier inspiration. Uh, there was a close family friend uh, who visited home and uh, that was a time when I was actually giving my exams for engineering. I was very impressed by you know, his persona. That clicked in my mind that I should at least try for this profession and I joined hotel management and I got through that uh, in my favorite city, Bangalore. Getting into kitchen was again, um, I think it was my interest in uh, knowing how the food is made and I was doing well in kitchen uh, and in fact my chefs who were my mentors at that time pushed me that I should go for this. Yes, I probably would have been a cricketer. There is a little place which is uh, close to my home. It's called Savarna Bhavan. It's a small Udubi joint, lovely food, uh, good clean ambience. Yeah, I don't know for what reason, but uh, I think uh, we could never associate with this ingredient uh, being from north. Never eaten in my life till the time I, I came to Bangalore. You know, handling is difficult, was always difficult. Now, as professionals, we do know that. And of course, the taste, uh, to me, it, it, it never kind of, uh, uh, never appealed. So, I, I kind of avoided most of my recipes. Chef Alan Dukas would be, he's a living legend and uh, I have followed his work. He has inspired millions of chefs around the world and he has some great restaurants. One of them is Alan Dukas in Dorchester and I would love to work with him sometime. Many instances, recently a gentleman called me on the table and he says, listen, I'm going to ask you something very weird. And I was actually ready. In, in Chinese restaurant, he asked me, can I have a stir fry beef in a sweet and sour sauce? And I kind of raised my eyebrows, are you sure what you're asking for? He says, yeah, it sounds a bit weird, but I kind of like it. It has to be a dessert. It has to be my uh, sticky chocolate uh, pudding, which we do with a freshly churned vanilla ice cream. In our kitchens, I mean, there's no room for shortcuts. In fact, I spend most of my day correcting youngsters not to do anything, you know, shortcut or use any cheats. For a chef, you know, to save time, uh, the, the best thing is to, you know, prepare. Um, like at home, we, pro we cook and serve, uh, but in professional kitchen, we use a technique called blanching, uh, where we prepare a vegetable, especially the green vegetables, it fixes the color, you have thing ready and uh, we get the order and within five minutes the food is out. So that's, that's uh, a technique which all chefs use. So I can call it a cheat because uh, half of the thing is, uh, ingredient is already cooked. I had spent um, nearly seven years in Ireland. I opened four restaurants, uh, progressive Indian restaurants, uh, where most of the Hollywood stars uh, they lived around and uh, rock, rock band U2, uh, Bono used to come to my restaurant and uh, every time he would, he would come, we would be thrilled. Uh, so, humble dish, chicken tikka masala for Bono and of course P.S. Prasnan, uh, again chicken tikka masala and uh, Miss Mary McLeese who was the president of, uh, who was the president at that time, Irish president and we had done a, a go on prawn curry for her which she loved. I think appetizers uh, because uh, it gives me opportunity to sample various things in small quantities, small portions. I love tapas style, you know, small little bites. Uh, for me, luxury is being with the family and you know, the, when, when I can cook uh, for my wife and kids and we sit together and have a meal. But in past, uh, I think one of my favorites is, I mean, I had, I had uh, Hakasan in London, we had an Atlantic spider crab which was I think which is still in my memory. I think pizza is something which is very common. It's a great food which is available which I think every age group likes it. Uh, I wish I had invented it and uh, there's so much you can do more on top of it. You can use it as a base, you can have it as a you know 
a sandwich to go, like a calzone, which is a form of pizza. Uh, you can play around with toppings. So I think that was a great invention. Whosoever invented it, uh, hats off to that, that person. Some things which travel with every chef. There are certain dishes which, which evolve uh, with the chef, uh, you know, as per, as he moves forward in his life, in his career. So one of the dishes which were there in my menu was uh, lobster cappuccino. Uh, so it, it, is, it is basically a take on a lobster bisque, but we kind of refined it. A little bit of my own twist when I took it to Jaipur, we actually made a nice uh, fennel uh, foam and we presented lobster bisque with a little bit of curry oil. I think that was a star dish for the evening and it, it has been traveling with me wherever I go. I try and get that uh, out if I have any special dinner or diners with me who are looking for an Indian-Western kind of fusion.